Hey, everybody. So. Still working on star constellations. Probably going to do some more work on the sun. Rises and sun setting. And some of the uh, additional effects that go along with that, just to make it look a little nicer. And maybe fix some bugs that have come up because of it. Okay, so right now I'm working on uh, the Chaos Constellation, which is the last one that I have to do. Or at least that's the, the last one that I'm going to be doing. If I get my way and I have enough time later, I'd, I'd like to put in some more weird secret ones and, and all that. But this is uh, the last one that's on my to-do list. So I still don't know what that means when <laughs> Photoshop asks me to create custom libraries. I'm guessing uh, if I'm reusing assets or something and it detects that I'm reusing assets, then it'll, I don't know, do something weird.
the nice thing about having tons of these star frames already done. I can just <laughs> cobble together a new thing using uh, animations I've already made. very crude way of sort of animating like this but I get a lot more control with a transparency through Photoshop it's a little easier to do bigger pieces like this for me in Photoshop yeah, 
this one, I'll just go down instead. Down the list. Anything I can do to make things more confusing for myself, I will inevitably do. Can I steal here? This guy, I guess. Start from the top. Does it for the eight points? I'm gonna maybe doing a cluster in here. For the eye. One of these, I think.
to. Munglo, hey, it's going pretty good. How you doing? orderly because it is the chaos constellation after all merge merge Early morning coffee, that sounds pretty good. Constellations, yeah. Um, I can show you, if you like, uh, the actual application here. So every uh, in-game day or every two in-game days, I'm thinking, uh, the constellation will shift and uh, a new sign will be dominant in the sky. And that can affect uh, a series of things. Unlock secrets. Spawn certain enemies on the world map. Make it so your corresponding uh, god carving that you're equipped with gives you a, a boost in experience points. And it will affect uh, some of the higher higher tiered crafting situations so here I've got the, the sun setting automatically and we'll go down and right now I've got it set to uh, the wolf god constellation You'll be able to see it a little better if I go into a platform sequence. Yeah, adding a, adding sunrises and sunsets, and I'm going to do the moon next. And the moon will have phases also. I mean, the, the idea is to give uh, a series of visual indicators you know, the, the player, some visual information about what might be happening on the world map. What they can start to look out for. There we go, there's the wolf constellation. And putting these visuals in the game just makes everything pop a little more and 
breathe some life into the game world. Create some, some immersion and all that. Sounds like a lot of work for a system many will never make use. Eh, you know. <laughs> it did, I mean, you're you're partly correct. Um, but uh, the main thing is that it'll add some some variety into the the randomized stuff on the map and and give kind of a visual indicator about it and stuff. And there's an item you're going to be able to find that will tell you like what sign is is dominant. Which can give you some clues, and there'll also be some visual clues in the landscape too. You know, you might come to a, a place that has some some carvings in the stone that uh, relate to to one of the uh, the zodiac signs, things like that. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, you're partly correct. I mean, <laughs> if somebody wants to ignore it completely, they can. Which I'm sure most people will. Provided they don't know about it already. What I want to do is make it seem kind of engaging enough for people that might not know about it. And if they find out about it, then it's like, oh, cool. Maybe, you know, maybe I can experiment with this a little bit. Okay. We're gonna add some other other effects to this also, but I'll, I'm gonna populate the rest of the sky with some stars. <sighs> I'm gonna make some some groups. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Real quick, I'm going to add some of the other connecting pieces here. Maybe I'm not making player ability gear stats sign dependent. No. Um, and there aren't too many of them. There's, how many do I have? I have like six or so. It's a, and an in-game game, in, in -game day doesn't take very long. But to get uh, some of the some of the more secret weapons, uh, you might have to find an area that has its own special like God Forge uh, that you'll only be able to access when a certain sign is active, and you use that God carving and infuse it into the weapon you're trying to make, and then you might come up with a surprise, stuff like that. And mostly also just uh, like creature spawning, more rare creature spawn dependencies and stuff. <clears throat> and there will be items that, that allow you to uh, sort of freeze time, you know? Like if you're like, oh, the, the serpent sign is out and I know that, that I saw a place with a serpent mark so I'm gonna go there uh, right now. First, I'm gonna use my like freeze freeze time item. Plus, time only matters on the world map. When you're in a, a platforming area, time freezes. Also, it only passes uh, when you're on the world map. Uh, 
a long time ago. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, there's, I mean, th this is more for, you know, the ex experimental late game players and stuff like that to, to get more out of the game if they want to. Right now, I don't think I'm going to make, uh, if there is going to be any gear that's constellation dependent it's going to be very rare like a, a specific like use case scenario <clears throat> like on a secret mini boss or something you'll you'll do bonus damage or something you know I'm going to steal some of these. But uh, you will be able to to go through the game quite comfortably and ignore the uh, the Zodiac system if you want. <laughs> this is certainly not a, a mandatory thing. Just an extra fun thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the vast majority of of anybody who plays, you know, of people that play video games, they don't even complete the games that they play. So, But I'd like to uh, put things in here that reward people that want a little extra mileage, you know? Especially for me. <laughs> like, that's the main thing, right? It's like, uh, I like the idea and I want to experiment with it. And um, I, it, it's fun for me to put it in. Any other uh, like-minded individuals, you know, might get a kick out of it. And then I think maybe one more sort of in and around the actual constellation. Put some depth on it so that the actual sign pops more than the uh... I'm going to have some some other stuff going on in here too but uh, yeah that should should do it for the placement at least stars one stars two three okay and this will be frame one frame zero Group from layers, frame zero. Yeah, or, um, you know, this is also going to have New Game Plus, uh, and, you know, New Game Plus 2, plus 3, etc. Uh, so another way to encourage replayability and, and things like that. Okay. Start now. We 
Oops. That's what I wanted. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, whoops, maybe it is, and I just have the other layers visible. There we go, that's what I want. For this, I'm gonna be for those stars in the center. Um, soon. <laughs> this is the bullshit answer. Um, no, I'm, I'm grinding away trying to get it done, uh, by the end of this year. It's looking good based on my to-do list and everything, but, um, we'll see. There's always, there's always like, you know, my optimistic assessment of what still needs to get done and the time it takes to get that stuff done. My realistic one, and then what actually happens. <laughs> um, but it's looking like I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. Not given a hard, hard date just yet, but, but we're getting there. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Manica Games. Ah, uh, yeah, this year's pretty good for for games. Absolutely. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> I I want to get it done. I mean, I I would prefer it already be done. You know. It isn't up to snuff. Not 100%. Oh, duh. I was like, I don't know what happened. What happened to my... St okay, there we go. Late night. Power hour to get a website. Oh, well, good luck. Love and beer. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, sometimes I'm like, just, you know, shave here, and I'm like, I'm good. I'm too lazy to go any further. And go hacking and slashing through more uh, dense foliage on my face. Especially right now, the heat is making me very lazy. The heat and the allergies. It's like I don't want to spend any extra time doing shit that's super boring. <laughs> we 
which is, which is shaving. One of those things is shaving. That is power. Oh, dude, thank you for that sub. Missing a star? Damn. Missing two stars. Okay. Frame two has one. Frame zero has one. Alright. Two has one, zero has one. I need one and three. Damn it. <laughs> ah yes, thank you very much, my friend. Which ones are broken? Okay, that look that just looks like uh This is the same stupid fr uh frame even, so let's just Wait, whoops. Oh no, wait. I'm looking at the wrong one. Damn it. Yeah. Are these both different? Get rid of the color overlay. They are. Okay. That's fine then. It launched! Well done. Mike stereo balances off. It is all left channel. Thank you for letting me know. I. It might have been. Or it might be that OBS just updated, so it might have reset something. Let's force mono. Let me know if that works now. Check, 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 check. Shopify themes. Uh, so Loft is your guys' uh, theme? Am I looking at this correctly? Still left speaker only. I might have to restart OBS for... for... Uh, for forcing Mono to go through. Well done, man. That is gorgeous looking. Can I view the demo? I can. Nice. Look at all this. Yeah, I can see why uh, it took you a year. So what is this? Is this like a? I'm, I think you've I've asked this question before and you've told me. So forgive me, but is it is it all CSS or something or? So mainly me. <laughs> hey man, take credit where credit's due. I wonder if uh, if my emotes went through. Let me see here. I only just found out the other day that people could subscribe to my channel. I didn't realize that that was a an active thing. But I went ahead and uh, found the thing where you can submit emotes. Shopify has its own language called Liquid, but it's essentially a combo of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Liquid. Oh.
This is probably not going to work, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, it doesn't work. To my rule. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. You should be proud. That's good stuff. And it looks like it, it took a lot of work. layers. Okay, frame two has one. But not three. There's three merge layers. Okay. Have I gotten the emote approved? I maybe not. I'm sure it's gonna take a few days or I don't know, that's <laughs> that is completely an, that is an uneducated guess. I have no idea how long it takes. Uh, I did it earlier today. Submitted it earlier today, so who knows? Failed on the submission. Yeah. I mean, it's, the only parameters that I saw were uh, like file size and you know actual pixel dimensions, which which the uh, the upload section took just fine. So, congrats on the sales, dude. I mean, that's the real thing, right? It's <laughs> is how well it's doing. Well, that's a relief. Means it will take a couple of Okay. I figured as much. I would have been very surprised if I had typed that in there and it just worked. Yeah, um, I'm going to be happy if I'm able to say the same thing here in a few months. Okay, now the rest of the stars. Grab all of these. Duplicate layers. Yeah, well, keep your fingers crossed for me. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I mean, that's at the very least, it will be fascinating to, uh, to see what happens. An interesting experiment.
Okay, duplicate layers. Oops. Yeah. in there too? I must have. Oh, I did. I got one right there also. Ah, uh, let's delete that one. And keep that, that other one. I like that. Some of the stores using loft are super cringeworthy. Really. Good man. That sounds like uh, sounds like you guys are on track then. Congratulations. Exciting stuff. No, dude. Yeah, ramble away. That's fun. I'm going to be the same way when I finally launch my game, you know, for better or worse. <laughs> okay. I think I missed some, some spots. Yeah. Oops. It's okay. I will fix them. Let's grab one of those. One of these. What's up, man? How the hell are you? Yeah, he had a year coming, so excitement is understandable. Frame three. Turn off, turn off, 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 off. Turn that off. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. All accounted for. Pretty sure. <laughs> well done, Nilo. Well done. This one. Color overlay. Let's go here. Apparently, what have you been up to, dude? Playing games. Excellent. <laughs> Hellblade. How is that? I I had been following that um, when they were still working on it. They released some really interesting uh, development diary stuff for that. I was surprised that it came out as quick as it did. Actually, great, really good. Yeah, I want to I want to pick it up. Audio is God tier in in Hellblade, right? Not here. <laughs> I'm I'm having some audio issues with uh with the mic, I think. Oh, that one can stay. God tier. Uh, here, let me. Um, I'm gonna restart the stream so that I can force the mic audio to go into mono, and it'll just be split over both channels. So let me do that real quick, and I shall be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 